personally, but the board. Uh, WESU at WESUFM.org. You are listening, as I just said, to WESU Middletown 88.1 FM. This is a late night format, now with Smellovision. Just scratch and sniff your listening device for an olfactory sensation of epic proportions. May cause tingling, burning, and electrocution. That went well. Okay, ready? Yep. Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a night. Just a night? Yeah. Oh, because if they're having a day... Then they're in the wrong hemisphere! Ah! ah. I'm your host, Adi Sleepback, and whether I improve or ruin the nondescript night you are having, I appreciate you tuning in. With me in the studio, I have the incomparable Liz Roche, here for, for, for her fourth time on the program tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I think uh, the reason this is going so smoothly so far is all the practice that I've had from coming on this show. Yeah, because you, know? you had so much to do with <laughs> with everything that has happened up till yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm still maintaining my role as most appeared guest on yes. the late night format. Just the way Jack I like Spira, it. you can't beat me. <laughs> I bet it just feels like riding a bike now. Um, yeah, except it hurts my crotch less. <laughs> Thanks for saying my joke. Of course. <laughs> um, yeah, but other than that, I've kind of run out of things to say to you. Because um, we've done this so many times. So the radio show will just be like an hour of silence. Yeah. Um, well, we've got this cool party music in the background. That's true. They just, that's what they came for. Yeah. No, they actually came for the spiel. Ah! Everyone loves a good spiel. Who doesn't like a good spiel? <laughs> if you would like, you can listen to the show at W-E-S. Oh, my God. You okay there? Your mic has been off this whole time. Well. Did you guys hear anything? Oh, you can't talk to me. Well... I'm going to talk to you anyway. If you would like, you can listen to this show online at WESUFM.org by clicking the archives and watch a video version of the program at YouTube.com slash the Curly QTube. That's the word the, then curly with an I at the end, the letter Q, and then the word tube. Uh, uploading is kind of irregular, sorry about last week, and probably about this week as well. So if you want to know when the next episode comes up, you can follow me on Twitter at Curly QTube, which is the same as the YouTube handle minus the the. Uh, which would be good, because then you would know what Liz and I's whole opening thing was just now, because uh, without that, you're not going to know at all. I'm sure they're just dying to know what I said. It, it was, was really funny, guys. It was comic gold. God. I wrote it myself. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I will try to do my best next time. Uh, but anyway, Twitter, you can tweet at me with the hashtag, the late night format, and then we can be friends on the internet. So that went well. Yep. Should we just move on to the news? Let's do it. Alrighty then. So, in news, uh, two weeks ago, George the Goldfish underwent a $300 surgery to remove a tumor protruding from his head, officially making him the, wor the most expensive goldfish in the world. Wow, his owners must be swimming in dough to spend that much money on a goldfish. Shut up. They're actually only of a median income, so hopefully after such a large expenditure, they can manage to keep their heads above water. You're the worst, and I hate you. I'm great. <laughs> In nerd news, the Tetris Company has announced that their classic game will be making its silver screen debut as a science fiction epic. Fans of game-to-movie hits like Battleship the Movie can't contain their excitement. So, no one. No one is excited about this movie. <laughs> I heard Rihanna was going to be in it. Awesome, said no one. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> California just passed a statewide law banning single-use plastic bags from grocery and convenience stores in the hopes of cutting down on litter and environmental damage. Sources say most people are accepting of the change, but Katy Perry is devastated. What will she use as a metaphor for being empty and drifting? I don't know, Liz. I don't know. 
And last week, a British YouTuber by the name of Sam Pepper continued his trend of misogynistic content by posting a prank video wherein he asks girls for directions, unsuspectingly grabs their asses, and then laughs at their discomfort. To quell the obvious backlash, he proceeded to post two more supposedly pre-planned pre videos, one with the same prank but gender-swapped, and another explaining the whole thing as a social experiment. That's a horrible. What's funny about that? Nothing. He's just an awful human. Oh. Well, I, I agree. I'm glad we're on the same page then. Yeah. And finally, in a disturbing turn of events, I am sad to report that my roommates and I have managed to finish an entire package of double stuffed Oreos in less than three days. I mean, at least it wasn't meth. That's true. <laughs> and they were golden. It's important to That's know. racist. <laughs> Aww. Sorry. It was just sitting there right in front of me. Yeah. I had to make like it. Like the Oreos. That's why we eat them all. <laughs> it's like I can hey see them, I have to eat them. That's very true. Um, never mind. <laughs> I wanted to say something about the Beatus, but it doesn't really fit in now. <laughs> uh, and now I made it awkward. Yay. Yay. We've got a good show planned for you. Uh, Megan Tonjes will be pretend performing, uh, so don't go away. We'll be right back after these important messages.